I'm a family doctor in downtown Toronto. I have a practice in the inner city in Toronto and in a homeless shelter. People who live at low income come into my office with conditions that are farther advanced, they're happening at younger ages, they're happening to a more extreme uh, degree. People are getting sicker, they're dying earlier. Uh, and really, I mean, the one unifying factor amongst those people is the fact that they're living in poverty and living without the kind of basic social supports and social uh, foundation that most of us rely on and expect. The cost of not looking at uh, the impacts of poverty, the impacts of inequality are huge. Uh, I mean, in fact, studies have been done that have shown the cost in Canada is in the many billions of dollars. In fact, the cost in most provinces in Canada, they've looked at this in BC and Saskatchewan and Ontario, uh, is into the multiple billions of dollars in each of those situations. And those costs come from an increased burden on the health system, absolutely, which ties into what I've been talking about, but also an increased burden on the social services system, on the prison system, and just a loss in economic productivity, right? So people who live with those stresses of poverty just don't have the same ability to be an active and productive member of our society that the rest of us do. Uh, I mean, I think taxes are foundational to allowing our society to protect those who are most vulnerable. So progressive taxation is a system uh, is, is a system in which we build fairness and equity into our taxation system. So what it means is that people who earn higher incomes, and generally significantly higher incomes, are taxed at a higher rate, right? So those people hold more responsibility for funding the programs that support the people at the bottom end of the income and, and inequality scales. I mean, I think that most doctors uh, would fall into the highest tax bracket and I would, in a heartbeat, be willing to pay more, right? I'd be willing to pay more from a professional standpoint because I think it will, it's, it's essential to treat the kind of health impacts of inequality and poverty that we see. And I'd certainly be willing to pay more from a personal standpoint because, you know, I, what I see in my office, what I see when I walk down the street every day, just feels wrong. It's pretty clear to me that what's good for all Canadians is to create a society where we don't have that kind of inequality, where someone like me, who lives at the top end of the income equality scale, can walk down the street and feel quite comfortable that the people around me are able to live happy, healthy lives as much as I am. And I, I really do believe that that type of candidate is still built into the fabric of who we are and of what we want as Canadians.